Hi everyone. Today I'm working on an Onan AJ205. This is a 2500 watt Onan generator. It's a smaller one, um, and the symptoms here are that this came from an estate sale. It hasn't run in years. Um, so in troubleshooting it, I determined that uh, it has no spark. It had you know, when you spin it over, you could feel you could feel a little bit of pulse right here. So it tells me that the uh, magnet was probably working because it has a magnet on the flywheel that spins around, um, and the points are tucked up under uh, the flywheel. So uh, what we have to do is remove the flywheel. When I first did this, I didn't see any. <laughs> Sorry about that. Dog in the way there. Um, I didn't see any videos on how to remove an Onan uh, flywheel from a generator, so I figured I'd do a quick one. Hey there. <laughs> she wants to play ball. So I figured I'd do a quick one here and uh, show you how to remove this. So it's got a key. Um, you can see the key in there. So there's no bolts on the outside to grab it, so I'm going to use the jaw clamper. I'm going to put it behind here. I'm just going to put this down real quick while I, I get the clamper. I've already had this off. I popped it off. Um, I just want to show everyone the points underneath it. So let's hold on one second. Okay. So as you can see, I've got the three clamp puller on here. Um, I had to use, well, I just used a, a ratchet. Um, sorry, a, uh, a socket right here. I, I got one that fit inside and it will pop this thing off. So let's go ahead and just give this a spin. And hopefully it should break loose relatively easy because I've already just had it off. Okay. So um, I should have had something underneath on the ground just in case. Uh, I've heard people breaking flywheels before by hitting concrete. I should have had some something down there to catch the fall. But um, you saw it popped off. So <clears throat> really... Once you get inside here, and I'll try to get a nice close-up here. Um, there's your coil and magnet. Um, there's your coil and magnet right there. The flywheel spins around this, and it generates a spark. Um, here's your point. Okay, you have to unscrew uh, that, and then you get access to points. Now, since I was already in here, I don't really need to do any of this uh, because I cleaned it up already. But I just wanted to show everybody how to remove that. So um, <clears throat> one thing to note about the points, if you're testing, if you're trying to ohm it out to verify if the points are any good or not or cleaned up, uh, you're going to want to take this wire here off that leads back to the magnet because um, as it is, it, it goes to ground. So when you're testing from one side of the points to the other, if you leave that connected, um, this is always going to go to ground because it's connected there. And of course, you know, down here it's bolted to ground. So um, remember, the best thing to do is to remove this off of here, get these three connections off. This one goes to the condenser. That one goes to, I think, the stop, uh, the number two lug on the stop switch. Uh, and that one goes into the, the coil magnet there. So you want to take all those three out and then take that off, get your coil out, and you'll want to um, see if the coil is any good or not. In my case, all I had to do was clean up the uh, points and uh, it was generating spark after I did that. Okay, so that's just a real quick video on how to get the uh, flywheel off.